My name is uh, Greg Sadhoff, and I'm a psychiatrist. I am professor of emergency medicine and public health sciences uh, here in the School of Medicine at the University of Virginia. I also serve as the psychiatric consultant to the FBI's behavioral analysis units. I had been scheduled to uh, give a four-hour presentation at the FBI Academy uh, on September 11th. The assistant special agent in charge had asked me if I would speak to a large group of FBI agents about post-traumatic stress disorder. And two medical students actually were working with me on my elective, and so I, I told them that I could take them out to the FBI Academy on that day. And as we were driving uh, on 95 North, my phone rang. When I picked it up, it, it, the speaker came on. And uh, this was a, one of the assistants at the FBI Academy, and she was very apologetic. She said, I'm not sure that we can get your, uh, <clears throat> your presentation um, onto a, um, a disc uh, to present your slides because of what's been going on around here. And so I said, Pam, is there some kind of problem? And she said, well, I, I guess you don't know, but uh, two planes have hit the World Trade Center, and uh, one of the towers just fell down, and they think the other one might come down. So I turned the radio on, and um, it was a, a newscast, <clears throat> one newsman talking to another and saying, uh, this is just a, a, a horrific sight. This is just a, a, a terrible sight. Who would have ever thought that this would happen at the Pentagon? And the three of us, at the same time, as we are headed towards Quantico, said, the Pentagon? The world really changed in a, in a major way. Um, I was asked more and more to consult um, regarding um, issues uh, relating to, um, to terrorism and international terrorism. I had been involved in working on domestic terrorism cases, I and mean, that was part of my role. Also, I would say that uh, I was really honored uh, to be asked uh, by the um, uh, chief of the fire department here in Charlottesville to, to go to New York to pick up the 9-11 uh, steel uh, some years later and to go up to New York uh, with uh, members of our fire department to accept that was really um, an extraordinary privilege and honor. There's no way that anyone who has been affected uh, by 9-11 can approach this topic uh, except with the greatest of humility. The stories, the most important stories, won't ever be told because of the people whose lives were were cut short.